Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete points from your video analysis in Logger Pro 3.16. Okay, so I've got here a little video of a ball bouncing from a previous video I made. And you can see I've started putting my dots in. I've also put in my scale. If you don't know how to do that, please see previous videos. But let's say I'm going along and all of a sudden, instead of here, I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to put my point over here. And um, one of the things I can do is if I go up to edit, I can do undo, add video analysis point. Let's just go on and find some other ways. In case I've gone through and I've put a lot more points on there now, now, how can I get rid of this one? Well, if I'm not too far on, another option would be to go up to data and clear all data, and I could start all over again. But you know, I've already got quite a few there. It's only one point I want to get rid of. Well, there's a couple of things that we can do. I'm going to click on the um, graph. For some reason, this is a problem with my Mac you may or may not have this issue. I'm actually going to go up here, page, add a new page. It will be exactly the way my current one is. And I'm seeing the same thing and those dots on my screen have disappeared. All right, so if you look in red is my X and remember it wasn't supposed to be moving left or right. So my X value should be constant. And I can see right here this value is the one that's wrong. Now there's a couple things I can do. I could look at the time and go over here and find out where it is. I could look at the data. I could see right here, look, that's definitely the point that's not correct. Or if I'm really stuck, if I click on this button here, which is examine, now as I move my cursor left and right, it tells me what data point I'm looking at. And I can see here it's at X decimal 2580. And it's even highlighted it here for me. So that's the one I want to get rid of. So if I go up to edit, it gives me an option to strike through data cells. Now I haven't selected this one. So I do need to click on them here first, edit, strike through data cells, and I'm going to get rid of the time value there as well. Now if you notice, sorry, I just got rid of my Y value from getting rid of the, um, I got rid of both of them. Okay, now if you look, they've disappeared here on my graph. Now, what you might be asking is, does that mean it's just hidden them? Do they still, will they be there when I do my calculations? And the answer is they will be removed from your calculations. So let me show you and um, demonstrate my point. I'm just going to look at the X data because that was the one that was very obvious and that it was a mistake. I'm going to click on my axes and I'm going to just click on X. That's the only one I want. I'm going to change this axis. Having the small or uh, the scale was exaggerating what was going on there. Okay, so I'm going to go up to Analyze, Curve Fit, I want y equals mx plus b, try fit, there we go. I'm not sure why it changed my scale again. But let's bring that on back. You can see here I have a slope of decimal 0, 1, 3, 4, 0. Okay, if I go back to my data, the one where I've struck through the data cells, I can go up to edit and I could restore that data cell. Maybe I thought, oh right, it was correct after all.
sorry, I need to um, do the other ones as well. Restore my Y. And restore the time. That was actually the one that was stopping us. There we go. Now we've got the point back. Now you can see that my slope has changed. Decimal 1111. Okay, so this is really good if you are looking at your graph and you want to see the effect of an outlier or not, um, that you can remove it from your graph and um, discuss that in your analysis.